I'm so excited! My 40 watt We Create Vision laser engraver is finally here. This is We Create's latest and greatest laser engraving machine. What I have next to me is their 20 watt laser engraving machine. This machine comes with a powerful 40 watt laser, which is a significant upgrade from the 20 watt model. This means faster engraving and cutting times and the ability to work with a wider range of materials. Some laser engraving projects take quite a long time to finish. I'm hoping that this new 40 watt laser cuts my laser engraving time in half. It's also compatible with their newest accessories, the 2 watt infrared laser module and the auto pass through feeder, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. I can't wait to unbox it and put it to the test. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I just noticed that I'm using this knife that I actually already laser engraved with my 20 watt IR laser head. If you want to see how good that engraved. Their IR laser allows you to laser engrave metal. So I took my daughter's handwriting and then I put it on the knife. So cute and functional. This is a big box. Maybe I should leave these on to uh, pull it out of the box. A little too late for that. Hmm. All taped together and stuck in the box. Probably... Maybe don't take the zip ties off. Um, leave the zip ties on and then take the laser out of the box. Because now it's going to be hard to lift. Maybe I'll just cut the box open. Probably don't need the box, right? Uh, they say to keep it in case you got to send it back. Hmm. Let's just lift it out. These are our laser bits. They're so clean and not sticky like our other ones. <laughs> Ta da! Alright, let's spin it around because I think it's backwards. So there's a piece of wood in here. It says for camera calibration only. We got. We have a chrome tray. And that's it in here. All right, now let's open up the inside. I love this new color. Very nice. I see a loose screw over here. That doesn't go to something important. 40 watt spare part laser head connection wire. So there's a little test piece of wood. A little photo of the cat. Cute. Instruction manual. I'm assuming setup will be the same as the 20 watt, but we shall see. USB cable. This screws into the back of the laser. This is your exhaust hose port. Some miscellaneous tools. It looks like there's some more in here. The antenna. Little USB thing. Try to plug in your phone. USB C. There's the hoses. And a power cable. On to the other side. This is our air assist. Pull this whole thing out, might be a little easier. Ooh, there's also a rotary in here. The air assist blows air at your laser engraving project and that helps keep it free of smoke and debris. And this is the rotary. The rotary is what you need to laser engrave round objects like tumblers. It looks exactly the same as the rotary that comes in the 20 watt. Let's see what else is in the laser. Some foam. 
pull this out and then you can get this piece of foam out. And there's one in the front here. Pull it out from the underneath. Alright, that's all the packaging in there. But now we can slide the crumb tray in. This is the crumb tray. It goes underneath the laser and it catches any laser engraving pieces of wood, wood scraps. Should slide on to a track. Last but not least, the protective film. It's like opening a present. Look at that beauty. Here's a closer look at everything that came inside of the 40 watt laser. We have the laser bed grates right here. There's two of them. This is a test piece of wood for calibrating. This is the hose that goes on the back of the laser. This gets connected to this and then put on the back of the machine. We have some spare parts, a USB cable, and a power cord. And also your antenna. We also have the air assist and the rotary. This may or may not be in the package that you bought. It depends on which model you chose. There's different types of bundles that come with different materials. The next thing that we're gonna do is connect the exhaust hose. Let's open up our little baggie of tools. We have a measuring tape, screwdriver, like an Allen wrench screwdriver, not a Phillips or a flathead. These are the jaws for the rotary. More rotary jaws. Um, spare parts. Cute little level. Little clips with an adhesive on the back. Chuck key. An Allen wrench. Not sure what that is. Some nuts. Little baby wrench and some grease. Grab your wrench and we're going to unscrew these four nuts. And don't lose them because you're going to have to screw them back in in a moment. Then grab this piece and slide it in and then reconnect the four nuts and then tighten them. Now we're going to unscrew the hose clamp. This is like a twisty bread tie that's also tied in a knot. I'm just going to cut this. Take your hose clamp and slide it over the hose. You might need to loosen this more. pops on. Twist this on. Slide this back. And then tighten your hose clamp. On to the next step, the air assist. We're going to take this end and plug it in here and then tighten this. Now you have to take your hose, open it up. So this piece is going to slide onto here. And then this tube goes in here. That's it for the air assist, now the antenna. This is your antenna and it gets screwed into the spot where it says Wi-Fi antenna. We create makes these machines very easy and beginner friendly. Setup is not hard on this machine. And the last thing is to plug it in. So grab your power cable and then connect this end to that end and plug this into the wall. This right here is gonna go to where it says DC input. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's plug it in and turn it on. Ooh, it's lighting up inside. <gasps>
Now we can put in the laser bed. With the 20 watt on the laser bed, there were screws that you had to pay attention to to see if they were pointing up or down. This one actually tells you up, so you know which way to put it in your machine. That was a really easy setup. It only took about five minutes. I discovered what this missing screw goes to. It goes to the rotary right here. So nothing important. So right away I can already see one major difference between the 20 watt and the 40 watt lasers. This is the laser head on the 20 watt. This is the laser head on the 40 watt. It's about twice as big, which you would expect with twice as much power. It's about the same size as the IR laser, which is right here. Now let's hook it up to the computer and calibrate the camera. I have the software open, so now I'm going to plug in the machine to the computer. Click New Project. After you turn on your machine, if you go over to this drop-down menu and click Add, the new laser pops up right here under the USB as Creator on USB. So right here it changed to 40 watt blue laser before it said 20 watt. So now I'm going to go up to the settings. I want to connect it to my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to click on Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to click on my Wi-Fi network name and enter the password and click confirm. Now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi, we can close out of here. Now you can see there's a bunch of numbers after creator. That means it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Now we're going to put this calibration wood inside the machine. It's actually two pieces in here. Now I'm going to refresh the screen. If for some reason your camera isn't working on your laser, you might need to go to WeCreate's website and upload the latest version of their software. When I was in the WeCreate software, it told me that I was already at the most updated version, which was 2.0.1, and my camera wasn't working. But then I went to WeCreate's website, and under the software tab, I saw that there was a 2.0.2 version, and I updated it, and now my camera works. Now we're going to try to do a camera calibration. It gives you a little warning here. We're gonna click start calibration. I measured the test sheet with my digital calipers and it came up at 2.9 millimeters. Next step, place your wood in the bottom left corner and click start calibration. Now that the camera calibration was successful, we can click complete. So now we're going to do a test, so let's refresh the camera. Let's just do a circle with the word Cricketer inside. Use the circle tool to draw a circle. We want to tell the machine to cut out that circle. Select your material. I'm using three millimeter basswood. So click basswood and then change it to three. For some reason it only says six millimeters, but let's just click confirm. These look like the default settings for three millimeter basswood for the 20 watt version, but I'll just leave it like that for now. Click text. Now I'm gonna write my channel name. Like and subscribe. You wanna change your font, you can click on font. Select whatever font you like, shrink it down. We're going to select fill engrave. The difference between fill engrave and line engrave is fill engrave engraves the entire word where line engrave just engraves the outline of the word. Let's crank it up to 100 power and 600 speed. Now we're going to autofocus it. This is what it looks like when it autofocuses. So after we autofocus, we can hit the start button. It estimates that it will take one minute and 21 seconds. Click send, and then push start on your machine. 
Wow, that seems so much faster. Right. Can't believe it's actually marking it. Why don't you think it would? Because the other thing for engraving, like a thing like that, would be 100 power and like 150. Speed. And this is what? 100 power and 600 speed. Looks like it worked perfectly. Cut all the way through, you can see the engraving. I'm really impressed that this engraved so fast because the settings on the 20 watt are usually half of what we chose. I made a project pretty recently where I had to make a wood sign for a customer and I had to cut through quarter inch wood with my 20 watt we create. When I made this last time, I did it on 100 power and two speed. I'm gonna put it in the 40 watt and try 100 power and six speed and see if it can cut through this a lot faster. That's so crazy. It cut through that wicked fast and easy. I love We Creates lasers for a lot of reasons. I love how they have a camera so you can drag and drop your designs into the software and it will engrave exactly as it appears on the screen. It rises up automatically so you don't have to deal with physically lifting up a heavy laser engraver and trying to put it on wooden blocks or an expensive riser base. So if it's so much more powerful, why would anyone want the 20 watt? If you do a ton of intricate engraving like photo engraving, then the 20 watt might be a better choice for you. Why is that? The difference really comes down to the laser module. The advantage of the 20 watt version is that it can produce more detailed engravings due to the smaller laser spot size. The spot size on the 20 watt laser is 0 0.08 by 0 0.10 millimeters versus 0 0.09 by 0 0.10 for the 40 watt version. Does a 0 0.01 millimeter spot size make a big difference in laser engraving quality? Subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out. Since I have both of these machines, you know I'm going to be comparing them and putting them to the test. So before buying, you should really think about the projects that you want to make with your vision. If you plan on doing more detailed engraving like pictures, you might want to go with the 20 watt. If you plan on doing more cutting or want to cut thicker materials, then go with the 40 watt pack. If you want to learn more about the differences between these two lasers, click the link in my video description and scroll to the bottom of this page to find the comparison guide. Let's talk about the price. How much does a WeCreate Vision laser cost? When deciding which WeCreate model you should buy, cost is an important thing to consider. Since the 40 watt is newer and more powerful, you would expect it to cost more. The Vision 20 watt basic pack is currently listed at $1,199.99. The Vision 40 Watt Basic Pack is $1,699.99. So the 40 Watt Basic Pack is $500 more. That price is just for the machine without any accessories. If you're interested in buying a WeCreate or any of their fun new accessories, I encourage you to make your purchase through the link in my video description. Since I am a part of their affiliate program, I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you if you make a purchase through my link. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Drop any questions or video suggestions you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.